guest drops. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'd like to get started by doing my impression of a midget trying to get into Yankee Stadium. Thank you. Hey, nice game. Nice game. It's a very nice game. It was a great game. Thank you very much. Great game. It was a great game. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. I have no act. I just move equipment around the stage. Have a good time. And that's all. I think it's obviously been hanging out in laundromats a lot lately. Don't you worry about the uh, change machine you see on the wall in laundromats? Put in a dollar, get back a dollar and change. Don't you think the guy who invented this is walking around thinking, you know, I've been in this business 27 years. I'm not making a penny off this deal. <laughs> Every year they have a sales meeting. The chart's straight line across the chart. <laughs> Gentlemen, we're taking a beating again this year. <laughs> Cannot continue to tread water like this much longer. <laughs> that man does not have it all. Everybody else wants it all. Donald Trump wants it all. I think Robin Givens wants it all. $125 million. She has a libel suit against Mike Tyson. She claims, true story, Mike Tyson called her a maliciously manipulative money grabber. Ouch. Maliciously manipulative. Yeah, we've seen Mike Tyson talk. You know, uh, I'm not sure these uh, multi-syllable words are within his grasp, if you know what I mean. Might have said malicious by accident once. With a mouthful of cookies, you know. Mm, these are malicious, you know, but uh, other than that. Oh. Oh. You know, the guy who founded Domino's Pizza has the largest collection of antique cars in the United States. Did you know this? It's true. Largest collection. Domino's. How come the guy who shows up at your house is driving the biggest piece of crap car on wheels? Some kind of rust float there, you know, no brakes, no windshield. The guy's got a scuba mask on his face like this, you know. Inspection sticker in the corner. That's what you need to open up the door to some Van Halen disciple standing there, you know, with a pizza in his hand. I think you know it's going to be warm. He's had it under his butt for two hours. There's no heater in the car, you know. I pretty much notice you can crack any security system in this country if you're carrying a pizza box. You know, you live in New York, you gotta have pass keys, get by the guard, you know, three triple locks. You're carrying, you have some like tomato splattered apron on you. Walk in with a pizza, you're in. <laughs> Anywhere. Hey, President Bush, uh, John Hinckley from Domino's is here. Yeah, sure, fine, let him in. You know? Wow. Can't think about this, it makes your head hurt. I hang out in laundromats. I believe that life is like detergents. What's detergent? Soap, what's soap? Bubbles, what are bubbles? Air, what's air? Nothing. Life is nothing. And that's all. <laughs> After all, there's just the tide. Tide goes out. Tide comes back. I could have thrown it at you, you know. If you can live with that, then hey, that's just fab. <laughs> most people aren't happy with that. I think most people want it all. <laughs> people want it all? Sure. Do you want it all? Yeah. Okay, fine, you can have it all, but there's some whisk involved. You can't have it all unless you're willing to take a little whisk. <laughs> sure, you can have it all. Doesn't really matter. Some people have it all, they're not happy. Some people have nothing, they're not happy. All that really matters in life is if you have just a little cheer. <laughs> Thank you. No. no. Stop it, stop it, we're running out of time. Before I go, I'd like to do uh, something that I've become famous for in the comedy world, and that's my uh, impression of chicken obstetrician. Here we go. Push! Push! Push for crying out loud! It's gonna be a hell of an omelet. Push! Thank you.